In today's English lesson, we are going to talk about some of the benefits you might get if you work in the United States. And one of the first questions you might have is, well, what is a benefit? A benefit is a good thing. It's a good thing that you get if you have a job. Now, as we go through this lesson, please remember that some of these benefits will be different depending on the job you have. Sometimes the more education you have, the better benefits you will have. Sometimes the more you have been at a job, the more benefits you will get. And I'm filming this at the place I work at. In this lesson, you will learn about four types of benefits. Time off from work. I mean, I know you probably love your job, but you probably also love not having to go into work and still get paid. We are going to talk about insurance and what that means and the types of insurance you might get at your job. We'll talk about something called professional development, and we'll finally talk about something called retirement. Because benefits can be so different from one job to the other, I am going to use myself as an example. So let's first talk about time off. And the first one I want to talk about is sick days. That's the first type of time off you might get. And that means if you are sick, you do not have to go to work, but you will still get paid. Each school year, I receive 13 sick days, which means if I get sick, I don't have to come to school and I will still get paid. Need to be careful, it's getting a little icy. There's also something called family sick days. And that's also kind of what it sounds like. If one of my family members is sick, probably a small child, they can't take care of themselves, I can take what is called a family sick day. It comes out of one of my sick days, one of my 13 sick days, but I can still use it and still get paid. Whoa, I wanted to teach this lesson on this trail, but I didn't realize it would be so wet. I need to be careful. Oh no, and I am wearing my dad's shoes. I don't want them to get too wet. All right, we made it through and it looks like the rest of the trail is pretty dry. I can also take what's called a personal day. I get three of those a year. A personal day is like a sick day, but I don't have to be sick. I can still not come into work and still get paid. You might take a personal day if you have a court date. Maybe you have a child that is graduating from high school or college, or maybe you are buying a house. Or sometimes you just want to take what's called a mental health day. A mental health day means you are physically feeling good, your body is still feeling good, but your mind, you just need a break from work. That is a mental health day. Another benefit you might hear when we talk about work and being sick is something called a sick bank. What I can do is take two of my sick days and donate it to this thing called a sick bank. I lose those two days, but what happens is if I get really sick, if I need to miss work for more than 15 days in one year, I can take other people's sick days. Hopefully that never happens. Hopefully I never get really sick, like something like cancer or heart disease. But if I have to miss a long period of time, I can take other people's sick days. Thankfully, I have never had to use the sick bank, but each year I give two of my sick days just in case one of my coworkers or one of my colleagues, those are people you work with, if they need my sick days because they become really sick. Another way you can get time off from work and still get paid is if we have a federal holiday. I just did a lesson about the term federal 
If you would like to see that lesson, I will leave it in the description. But basically, federal means like the whole nation, all 50 states. A federal holiday is when the whole country celebrates something. And we have 11 federal holidays. A couple federal holidays we have is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, President's Day, Christmas. If you would like me to do an English lesson about the 11 federal holidays, please leave a comment letting me know you would like to see that. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. A couple of things that might happen on a federal holiday is that the mail won't run. What does that mean? It means you won't get your mail delivered on a federal holiday. Also, probably most of the banks will be closed. If you do have to work on a federal holiday, I mean, police officers, doctors, I mean, they still have to work, you might get time and a half. I made an English lesson about work and I talked about time and a half. If you would like to see that one, there will be a link to it at the end of this lesson. Oh no, we've come to a fork in the path. That means we could take two different ways. I say we take the one on the left because the one on the right, it looks a little wet. Yeah, let's go this way and hopefully we don't get our dad's shoes wet. Yeah, definitely getting a little icy out here. You might also get something called a paid vacation. A lot of times when you start a new job, you will get two weeks paid vacation a year, which means there are two weeks or 14 days that you do not have to go to work, but you'll still get a paycheck. The more time you stay at a company, the more likely it is that you will get more weeks of vacation. You might also get something called paternity leave or maternity leave. Maternity leave is what mothers get after they have a baby. Paternity leave, with a P, is what fathers get after they have a baby. It just depends on the job. Sometimes that time is paid leave. You still get paid even though you are not going to work. Other times you might have to take it unpaid, which means if you don't go to work, you don't get paid. Lots of information here, I know, but there could be a lot of benefits if you work in the United States. Another benefit you might get is insurance through your work. And what that means is you pay a little bit each month, and if something bad happens, you will get help. You will get help with money. There are a couple different types of insurance I would like to talk about. Medical, vision, and dental. Let's talk about medical first. Anytime you hear medical in English, think doctors. So if you get really sick or maybe you break your leg, if you have medical insurance, that means when you go to the hospital, insurance will pay for most of your medical bills. A lot of times you have to pay 20% but your insurance that you get through your work will pay 80%. Again, that can be very different depending on what kind of job you have. Dental is another kind of insurance and that is with the teeth. Vision is another type of insurance and that is with the eyes. At my school, I have medical insurance, I have dental insurance, but I don't have vision insurance. So if I need glasses, which I probably do, my eyes are kind of getting bad, my insurance will not pay for those glasses. They will not pay for eye exams. I have to pay for that out of pocket. When you hear out of pocket, that means you have to pay for it all yourself. You will not be getting any help from insurance. Do you remember last summer, my house flooded. We got a lot of rain and uh, my whole basement is just flooded. Yeah. 
I do have house insurance. I do have car insurance, but that is not through my work. I pay for that separately. It's a personal thing. It has nothing to do with my work. If you would like to see the lesson I did when my house flooded, take a look in the description. There is a link there. Let's talk about the term self-employed. That means you are your own boss. You work for yourself. If you are self-employed, there's a good chance your health insurance is going to be very expensive. One of the things that keeps medical insurance down or a lower cost for it at a job is because you have a lot of people paying for it. If you are self-employed, if you are your own boss, guess what? That insurance is probably going to be way more expensive. Just ask my brother. He owns his own business and his insurance is very expensive. Another benefit you might get if you have a job is professional development. Couple big words there. Professional development. That means your job will pay for you to get better at your job. For example, this year I am going to be taking four classes at a college. I'm going to try to become a better teacher. And guess what? My school is going to pay for me to become a better teacher. Yeah, so your job paying for you to become better at your job is called professional development and some jobs offer that. Unfortunately, not all jobs offer that. Okay, let's talk about retirement. What is retirement? Well, retirement means you are getting old, but you no longer have to work. And in the United States, a lot of people are able to retire at age 62, if they're kind of old like me. If they are a little younger, they might have to wait until they are 65 years old. And the really young people will have to wait until they are 67 years old. Well, what happens when you retire? You collect your retirement. So for the entire time that you have been working, each month, you pay a little bit into your retirement fund. And also, if you have a good job, they will help you out. They might match whatever you pay into your retirement fund. And when I say match, that means if you pay $100, your job, your boss, the person who owns the company, they will also pay $100 into your retirement fund. Again, not all jobs offer this. I hope you know a little bit more about the benefits of working in the United States. If you would like to learn even more about working in the United States, right up there is another English lesson for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.